figuring out ways to win. That's that's what encourages me. I mean that that's what it comes down to. We're we're coming up with stops. We're scoring the basketball when, when it matters. Uh, I was really proud of Bianca. She steps up and makes two big time free throws that seals the game, which are two that we uh, we we needed to get. So I was proud of her. I thought Liz Dixon came in. Like I said, I thought she played well in her five minutes, and then she sprained an ankle. I got to see how she's doing, but she made a beautiful up and under move. She contested some shots in the paint and did a great job. But for us against their zone, we needed to play more four guards because we needed to try to attack a gap and get in there and create. So that's why we went more with a a guard-oriented lineup as that game continued. Coach, what is it about Dana that before that shot at the – in the last 30 seconds, I mean, she's 1 of 10 from 3, 3 of 15. She has no field. idea if she's 1 a one of 10 or 10 for 10. <laughs> yeah, she, 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 she was never good in math. <laughs> you know, she sits there. When she hits the rim, she goes, well, that's a half of a point. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, that's kind of – you know what? Here's what it is. She spends a ton of time in the gym working on her, on her game. And I am a math person, and I tell them all the time, at the end of the game right there, do you want Dana to shoot it or Jazz to shoot it? Mathematically, you want Dana to shoot it because percentages always work their way out. You know, Now, I know what everybody's going to say, give it to the hot hand, give it to the hot hand, which is right, which is what I want to do too. But as a player, you've got to have short-term memory. That's if you work on your game. See, if you don't work on your game, then shooting and praying is not a very good option. You know, so if you haven't worked on it to where you're consistently making shots in practice, then don't take them in games. But Dana's in the gym. She makes them in practice. She's made them in games. So I've got no problem with her taking that shot. Uh, You know, I'm still working to get her off the ball, to get her on on the weak side so we we can get some easier shots for her. Uh, But overall, it's a win. I'm really proud of them. It's, It's one we won't give back. And like, and like I said, it's going to be something that's going to be a grind like this the entire ACC season. But, Dana, for you, even though, you know, when your shot's not falling, just where's your confidence level <laughs> like? I mean, you were still shooting those shots. And then how rewarding was it when you were able to get those two big threes for Well, my teammates, they kept talking to me the whole game and saying they're going to fall, they're going to fall. Don't worry about it. Jazz in particular and B. B set the screen, and I give her the credit for that shot because if she didn't have set that screen, then I wouldn't have had an open three at the end. So my teammates were the key. Definitely, definitely thank all my point guards. <laughs> and it only took four years, right, Coach? <laughs> and you should thank me for playing you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> hey. I appreciate I mean, that. If I don't play her, she don't score. Thank you. <laughs> but, thank you. But, no, it's an honor. Um, a lot of people have, have came through this program, a lot of great players, and I'm just great to be a part of something special. Guys, you, thank you. You guys have been fantastic. Again, the one thing I will ask you to do, if you can – Anything you can put out there concerning our USA basketball game here on February the 2nd? Uh, we're trying to get 10, 11,000 in for that like we did tonight. Uh, Angel McCautry will be playing in that game. Uh, you'll have Sue Bird, Diana Taurasi, Brianna Stewart uh, scheduled possibly to be back for that also. Uh, you're actually going to have a team where I, a lot of them are going to be going over to Serbia to play in a pre, pre-qualifying Olympic tournament right after our game. So it's it's going to be a pretty impressive group of young women, and I'd love to be able to get 10,000, 12,000 in this place. So if you all can help me do that, I'd sure appreciate it. Jazz, as you slide over, um, I was talking to Lamar. <laughs> Jazz, I was talking to Lamar before the game, and he said you were in the gym last night. Would you say that anything has changed about the amount of time you're spending in the gym? Like, has your schedule kind of ramped up a little bit? Have you been more focused after the Christmas break? 
Uh, like school's not in right now. We'll we start school tomorrow, but school hasn't been in, so we had more free time to just get in the gym. We're not doing anything else. We've been having practice two, uh, two a days. We've just been staying focused, watching film, and just getting in the gym. We had plenty of free time. So all my teammates have been in the gym, especially this one right here, night in and night out. She's the first one in the gym, and then always the last one to leave. So and then I come in. We'll come in at nighttime, and she's still in there. So I was like, they <laughs> Dana, go home. So, like, <laughs> no life, no life, no life. And then uh, Dana, what's the next song we can expect on karaoke with Dana? <laughs> Anything Jackson 5, I love Michael Jackson, so pretty much know all the songs. So, <laughs> any that Michael Jackson? It was. <laughs> it was nice. <laughs> Jazz, did you, you feel like you had to take on extra responsibility early when kind of things you guys are struggling a little bit offensively? And yes. if so, did you, when did you feel like you got into a groove? No, I just I was just being aggressive like I was the, the last two games, um, of course. And then like I knew that my teammates was gonna pick it up. We just we just started out slow as a unit um, on defense, and we just needed to pick it up. I knew once our defense amped up, that our offense would take care of itself. So we was just too focused on shots not going in right there. And then when we picked it up on defense, the offense took care of itself. I told Danny the whole game, it's gonna fall, it's gonna fall. Just be patient, and look what happened. Like those those was two big threes. Like Bianca too. I told her to be patient, and she got foul, knocked down two big free throws. She was rebounding the ball outstanding. She had some great switches down on defense with me um, when we was five switch everything in like the uh, last like four, four, three minutes in the game. So they just, they kept with it. My teammates, uh, they stay aggressive no matter what and they don't hang their head. Um, they were really long. They played the zone wide, and I, I couldn't really get any open looks early. So um, I took a couple tough shots that was pretty contested with I should have been a little bit more patient. But um, I just kept believing in myself, and I kept telling myself it, it, it has to fall pretty soon. So and I just was ready to take the shot. Shaz, can you just walk us through what the what the moment was like when you – Got a thousand, you're a thousand point, or if you even knew, or if you heard it over when they were saying it over the PA. No, I, I didn't even um, hear it over the PA. Uh, in the huddle, I was just telling us, y'all, we got to pick it up on defense. So I, I didn't, I didn't even hear it over the PA. Uh, after the game, when I got interviewed on TV, <laughs> I didn't even know. So after I uh, found out on TV, I was real honored. Anything else? Thank you all. Thank you guys.